when someone is loyal to you, they're faithful, they're consistent, romantic, and spoiling you, doing the things that you want them to do, do you just go key their car? Do you just go bust their windows out? Do you just go pop up at their job and try to fight them? No. Because it's not love that is making you crazy. It's the person not loving you properly. It is the lack of love. Hey you guys, it's Seiko Kaori, the Manifesting Goddess, and welcome back to another episode of Seiko's Intuition. For today's episode, I wanna talk about how people think that love makes you crazy and that money is evil. I hear it all the time. Oh, money is evil. Money changes people. Love makes you crazy. Love makes you do crazy things. Neither one of those assumptions are true. Love does not make you crazy. Let me tell you again. Love does not make you crazy. It is the lack of love that is making you crazy. If you have been in a relationship with somebody or you were dating them, used to be in a relationship, whatever, and you found yourself keying their car, always fighting them, always in drama, that is not because of love. That is because of the lack of love that they are giving you. Sometimes, I want you guys to really sit and think about things. If someone was loving you properly, you would not want to go key their car. You would not want to go bust their windows out. You would not want to go burn, bleach, or cut up their clothes. It is when someone is not loving you properly is when you go crazy. It is not love itself. You guys have to stop saying that. It is the lack of love that someone is giving you that is making you crazy. When someone cheats on you, it makes you crazy. It makes you wanna do crazy things. When someone lies to you, when someone betrays you, embarrasses you, manipulates you and you find out, that is what makes you crazy. And all of those things that I just named do not fall under the umbrella of love. When someone is loyal to you, they're faithful, they're consistent, romantic and spoiling you, doing the things that you want them to do. Do you just go key their car? Do you just go bust their windows out? Do you just go pop up at their job and try to fight them? No, because it's not love that is making you crazy. It's the person not loving you properly. It is the lack of love. Same thing with money. Honey, money does not make you evil. It is the lack of money that makes you evil. When people don't have money, what do they go do? They go rob banks. They go rob people. They start scamming. And sometimes it gets a little bit more hectic and now we have sex trafficking. Taking people and kidnapping them for their organs. It is not money that is making people evil. It is the lack of it. Because if I had money, I'm not out here trying to rob somebody which can accidentally lead to me killing them or I get killed and locked up. And yes, I'm not saying that people with money or rich people don't do evil things. I am not saying that. But it is not the actual money that is making people evil. Money is just energy. Most things in this world is at a neutral standpoint. We as humans give it a meaning of it being good or bad. Money is neutral. 
So it's up to you on how you view it. But stop saying that it's evil because it can hear you. Stop saying you are broke. Stop saying things are too expensive. Stop saying you can't afford that. Money is energy. It can hear you. And if somebody was talking about you like that, would you want to be around it? No. So y'all wonder why money is running from you. You wonder why you're not manifesting money easily. Why it's not attracting to you. Listen to how you talk about it. And yes, most of us are on autopilot. Most of us that aren't even aware of our thoughts, let alone our words. You have to pay attention. What spells are you casting with your words? Change your perspective. Love is beautiful. Love is the only thing in this world that can conquer all. You ever been in an argument with somebody and instead of arguing with them, you just stop and pray? Probably not, but that shit works. I promise you, it works. So I was working at a job and I think it was Mother's Day. It had to be Mother's Day because the line was wrapped all the way around the store. One of the customers got disrespectful, but instead of me arguing with her, I told her politely to go to the back of the line and I prayed for her. I, y'all, when the lady got to the register, she apologized to me as she should have. But most people are there in their ego, they're in their pride. They think they're right, but she apologized. Y'all, love wins all. Love conquers all. Just like money is not evil, stop saying that. Money is the third most important thing in this world, and it's only four of them. Air, water, money, food. Those four things are a necessity for you to live on this earth. You cannot live on this earth without water. You will die. You cannot live on this earth without food. You will die. You cannot live on this earth without air. You will die. You cannot live on this earth without money because you will die a miserable life. You need money to get water. You need money, clean water at least. You need money for food. Money is a necessity. You need money for clothes. You need money to make money. So stop downplaying it. But I am Sego Kaori, the Manifesting Goddess. And if you resonate with what I say, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye.